The opening quote is from King James the first, who sponsored the King James Bible. I mention it for a couple reasons. It's said so wisely, and because a lot of folks will say, like for me, I'm a big King James advocate. I'm anti-Calvinist. They say that's hypocritical because King James was Calvinist. Well, let's see how Calvinist he was. King James the first of England has wrote, has wrote this concerning the doctrine of predestination. This doctrine is so horrible that I am persuaded if there were a council of unclean spirits assembled in hell and their prince, the devil, were to put the question either to all of them in general or to each in particular, to learn their opinion about the most likely means of stirring up the hatred of men against God, their maker, nothing could be invented by them that would be more efficacious for this purpose or that could put a greater affront upon God's love for mankind than that infamous decree of the late synod and the decision of that detestable formulary of which the far greater part of the human race are condemned to hell for no other reason than the mere will of God without any regard to sin, the necessity of sinning, as well as of being damned, being hay fastened upon them by that great nail of the decree before mentioned. He said, if, if the devil called all the demons together, said, what can we do the most to make people dislike God? It would be to teach them that he predestined some of you to heaven and some of you to hell without any regards to your response. It's absolutely, I believe, correct. 